In this video I'll show you how to set up a CISS on a HP PhotoSmart C5280 all-in-one. It takes the HP 350 and 351 cartridges. In this video and on all of my systems we use original HP cartridges. Just to make it clear before I go any further the CISS unit that's the piping and the bottles you can see down here they are compatible they are not made by HP but the cartridges are original HP cartridges we're going to set them up onto this printer scanner all in one and just to let you know these white things at the sides here like this they're just lighting they're giving us extra lighting so you can see clearly what is going on so we've got the cartridges there and down here just behind this lighting we've got the CISS unit with the ink in the bottles you'll get those in a pack should you purchase and also in the pack you'll get a white clip this white clip this white clip and that's about it you'll get all of that in your pack ready to be up and running these cartridges here will already be set up this piping will already be done by me and just before I go any further whilst I'm doing this you'll see that my hands are plastered in ink the ink has not come from the CISS I've been remanufacturing cartridges all day today and I haven't had time to get any of it off before I do this video and get it onto YouTube for someone who has requested it so let's look see where we start then you've got your two white clips you've got one here that clips down straight down and we've got one here that clicks straight down look at that angle I haven't got it straight I've got it at a slight angle there you'll get both of those in your pack you peel off the bit of paper off the back it leaves a sticky pad there for you to stick them down so you want to be in this corner here and approximately in the middle there just angle to the right a little so you put those two plastic pieces into place stick them down because they're going to hold the piping this will be quite a quick setup procedure for this printer so here we go let's see how we put it in we've got the cartridges there I've actually got them crossed over because that's the position they're in right and here is your cartridge carrier the printer is switched on but the lid is up so the this part down here will go down allowing you to put the cartridges in and you just put them in like you would normally they are original HP cartridges so there's no difference in the way that they go in you just clip them in and they're ready now get your pipe come across here and back through there just give it a bit of slack there make sure that there's a bit of slack there for it to move freely left to right bring your piping across and clip into that clip there so you can see it's all set up going round it's a very simple setup this one now over here on the left you can just about see my finger there I'll move round to the left a bit this is the lid sensor there's a bit on the lid up here that pokes down and goes into that hole to make the printer print the printer believe that the lid is shut well it is when we don't do this well it's just a little black slide so what you need is just a little bit of paper push it in there it moves the slide to the left and the printer will think that the lid is down that's telling the lids down so the printer becomes ready to print now before we go to print I've moved the light out of the way I just want to show you the CISS bottles here they've got a large bung at the bottom and a small bung at the top you need to take out the small bung and put in these four air filters there's one for each bottle they let, let, they let air in but won't let ink out if you accidentally knock it it is important that you put those in because if air can't get in the ink won't be able to come through because of the air pressure so you must make sure you put those in and you must also make sure that you keep 
the bottles at the same level as the printer. If you see it here, I've got them on the table. They must be on the same level as the printer. If you have them higher, the ink will come through on the force of gravity and flood your printer. So make sure without fail, they are on the same level. So we're just about set up there. It is a very quick setup on this printer. We'll see how so to print. So we've got the piece of paper in, the piece of paper's in. The printer thinks the lid is down. So let's see it print. All we've got to do is see a print coming through. I've gone to the laptop here. And there we go. Should start printing any minute. As you can see there, it's printing fine. Absolutely perfect. You'll save a tremendous amount of money with this CISS. When I send you the kit, it's got 100 mil of each ink. Now, I only fill the bottles down here about half full, and we just keep toppling them up. But 100 mil of each ink, you'll get the rest of the ink in bottles, by the way. 100 mil of each ink is equivalent of 20 black cartridges and 50 colour cartridges. So that's a massive savings on your printing when you use this CISS. As you can see there, this is printed out and instructions that I do for other CISS. I'll move the camera, you can see it going. Perfect printing. No lines, nothing. Printing perfectly. Very cheap printing if you swap to this CISSS. I think I th said three S's there. CISS. Such a simple setup for this printer. Obviously, the 350 and the 351 go onto other printers as well. If you never find the uh, videos from me, just get in touch with me and we can work out how yours go. It's all to do with the piping, the routing of the piping, that's all it is. But as you can see there, that is printing perfectly. No more heavy costs if you've got this printer here. I'm going to do some more 350, 351 videos, but this one's needed urgently by someone, so I'm putting it up as quick as I can. Hence the filthy hands, I haven't even got time to wash them. So don't forget, let's just go through it again. Your two clips go into place. You put your bottle next to your printer on the same level and put your four air bungs in. You click your cartridges in, you put your piping into the clips and then you print away. It's so simple. Any questions, just get in touch with me. Thanks for watching. So this is just an afterthought. After finishing the video, I realized that I left it with the lid up. I ended the video with the lid up so here you can see that the printer is printing with the lid down. You can put the lid down, but it'll always stay up a couple of mil because of this one here. It's up about two mil, but that doesn't matter. It works perfectly okay because we've got that piece of paper in. So you can see now that it actually prints with the lid down.